Sansa. Good morning. Good morning, Snow. We have to prepare again. Ang dadalhin na naman ako ng alcohol, ice oil. She never sees this in card ni Mama for her mask. Mask. Sa nito ba? Oh, okay. Whites. And then to sheer and additional masks kung kailangan. Whites for the cell phone and other stuff na dala ko. And additional masks ba? Para sure. Kasi parang nagkakaroon ako ng mga mask acne. So, siguro dahil matagal kong suot yung mask. So, at least if I bring more na disposable um, or washable mask, mas mapiprevent yung nagkakasugot-sugot na ako. So, ding! Normally, every Sunday, nagpapadeliver kami ng food um, para makapahinga naman si Mama from cooking and other stuff. So, kukunin ko yung pinadeliver ko. So, yeah! This is food we ordered from Tapaking. Yay! Excited! So obviously, maguling table ko. That's my next project later. So I'm using ko yan. Ito naman na. This is my work table. Parang study table nga rin. Medyo maayos siya, I would like to think. Ito talaga! Boom! So wala naman masyado na bago. Medyo natanggal lang yung mga stuff doon. Marami pa rin akong resibo and mga bills na kailangan kasi ko suhin. Insurance, whatever. So, ayusin ko na lang yun mamaya. Tapos, at least may space here. And then, water and stuff, whatever. Ito, I just saw this online. Cute. Na-inspire ko niyan dahil sa Hello Stranger. <laughs> But I'll, I'll, I'll do a mag-room tour kaya ako. <laughs> But, yeah. And then this one, I got this lang from uh, Lazada also. Nice, at least mas, mas ano, maayos yung area. But yeah, that's it. That's the simple table fix I did for today. Oh wait, this is cute. Pakita ko sa inyo, wait. Ang cute ng ambience, whatever. Rather na yan. Cute, like when I sleep and then I see that. It inspires me to dream. <laughs> In love. Ayan. So, 
hapon na. Actually, mga around 4, 5. Uh, normally, on Sundays, again, we order food for takeout para hindi na magluluto si mama. Parang rest day na niya to. So, yun, we had food delivered from Manam. So, parang mafeel mo pa rin na nakakalabas ka. You can still go out. You can still spend time with family because Sundays, normally, that's your fa family day. Family. Family day. So, kaya yun. So, fun, exciting. Saka for sure, masarap yun. Tapos na rin ako mag-workout. So, yan. Medyo pawis pa. So, yun. So, cheer time muna. Afternoon snacks. Ganun. That's just Sundays for me. Recently. So, more on like relaxing, chill time. Those things. Ineto. you get a peek of how event uneventful my weekend was um wala wala naman ako masyadong ginawa for the weekend um but i realized a lot of things um for this week and over the weekend as well um initially i was thinking is it worth uh to post this video or whatsoever and then i realized i don't know who knows um baka makatulong or baka may mga ibang tao who share the same insights or who is just looking for other people who are probably experiencing the same thing na na-experience ko um, or na-experience nila. Diba? So yun nga, as you can see, it was very uneventful, just the usuals, uh, errands, whatsoever. And then wala, wala lang talaga akong ginawa. But to tell you honestly, this has been one of the most relaxing weekends I've had ever since the start of the quarantine. Like, that's why I thought na rin na parang weekend and reflections yung theme ng video na to. Because like, since the quarantine started, I was thinking, oh, what should I do? How should I deal with this quarantine? How can I deal with the worries, anxieties, fears, kanyan, that I have? Tapos, slowly, I realized, teka, baka I might have been doing too much or a lot of things. So, I tried to manage the stress, the anxiety, the fear, pero baka sumobra naman. <laughs> Masada naman akong maraming ginawa. And then, yun nga, like, last week was quite stressful, all packed uh, with work, which is a good thing um, sa panahon nyo. It's always a blessing to have work. Um, and then, I read something, um, I forget saan ko siya nabase um, I think a book or online um, but walang author whatsoever so I shared it, uh, it's here uh, I shared it sa Learning with Mr. T page ko and also Instagram um, in Facebook and Instagram so follow nyo na rin if, if you're not following it yet um, and it read something like um, take a break as simple as that, so learn to take a break and then based on all stories, conversations, observations, and from the people I know, friends, ganyan. Um, uh, and even with myself, I realized that, oh, nga, no? maybe this is really the right time to take a break. Or, from time to time, you should really take a break um, with all the craziness that's happening, social political issues. Um, probably stress mo rin kung wala kang work, naghahanap ka ng work stress mo rin sa work from home setup, no? Take a break and we all deserve it. And normally, I would still work kahit weekends kasi nga as a teacher, I prepare everything. So, I was thinking, baka it's a good time to stop muna, like take a break. And it was good. And to anyone who might need to hear this, you deserve a break, you have to take a break. And that's the main reflection. Um, that I had this week. At the same time, if there are some, you know, toxic situations, toxic people, or toxic uh, things in your life, baka pwedeng iisang tabi muna or wag bigyang pansin. Or like, there are times na um, 
like people ask me, ano balitaan mo na to, ganyan, ganyan, and then I would tell them, ah, ano muna ako, lay low muna ako dyan, um, hindi muna ako makikinig dyan, or hindi muna ako magbabasa yan. So, magdi-detox muna ako for those kinds of news. Um, and as you can see, I've been, most of my time talaga, especially pag weekends, um, is really spent with my dogs. Um, and then, tending for my, for my plants. Konti lang naman sila. And these are just small plants. So, I really take time to play with my dogs. And then, um, take care of my plants. Uh, look after them. Uh, ano ba yung mga need nila. And it's uh, a form of uh, stress reliever sa, para sa akin. So, ayun na nga. One of the main reflections about this week and this weekend, yun na nga would be take a break. Um, and then, second would be if necessary, remove the toxic things that make you feel stressed or that, you know, are not doing anything good to you. Um, third naman is really to focus on the now, uh, focus on the present, focus on the good things that are happening around you. Um, because like some of us might be suffering um, what financial challenges, difficulties, work-related uh, difficulties, health related difficulties uh, medyo mainit baka uulan but yeah focus on the now kasi I'm experiencing this although I think medyo light lang naman um, just to share but yun nga ang dami mong iniisip ang dami mong stress ang dami mong anxieties or worries and then you forget to focus on what's happening right now you forget to focus on the things that you can control right now one thing that you can control at the end of the day would be how you use your time. What do you do with your time? Diba? So, hindi ko naman makokontrol yung problema na nangyayari sa paligid. Hindi ko makokontrol yung worries, anxieties ko. Ang makokontrol ko yung gagawin ko regarding those things. And I think it's very helpful if we take time to reflect on these things. What can I do? Like, ako, I was so stressed. Ayoko na. Nakapagod. And then you realize, Teka, what can I do? Para hindi mapagod. Hindi mag-relax. And I have the weekend, so wala akong ginawa. And I don't know. I can say that it was one of the what most relaxing weekends ever. Walang hotel room na merong bath, tapos magba-bath bombs ka. Walang beach, walang sound ng beach. Walang lawis-wis ng mga trees or whatever. Um, walang sound ng birds or yung hangin. Um, sa shore, dalampasigan, mga ganun. Yung mga bagay na I felt that I needed before or masaya na na-experience ko. Wala eh. I can experience those things. I don't have enough privilege to experience those things right now. So, you rely on relaxing or doing things that relax you. Pwede kung nakaka-relax sa'yo yung wala kang gagawin, do it. Di ba wala namang sinabi na dapat lagi kang may gagawin each and every day. Dapat may lagi kang gagawin every hour. Wala namang sinasabing gano'n. Di ba? Or, sabi nila, do this para makarelax. What if it doesn't work for you? It's okay. So, do different things and then find what works for you. Um, and then, yun na, focus on the things that you can control. Di ba? Kasi, if, if these are the things that you cannot control anymore, what can you do? Um, the only thing that you can control is yourself. Um, anong nararamdaman mo towards something? And what you do with your time? Well, that's what I can think of right now. So, yun, those three things. Um, take a break. Um, focus on the now. And if necessary, remove the toxicities or toxic things around you. Um, so, as to limit yourself from experiencing stress. Um, so, there. Um, this was not the usual type of the videos I do, which is highly informative or something like that. But I was thinking, what the hell, I'm too stressed um, for the past few weeks to even think of new videos or new content or whatsoever. Um, so I ko, we can learn things through reflection and through sharing it, eh, by Experiences. So hopefully, uh, being true to my tip, advice, diba, not to always listen, share, um, keep learning and keep going. And that's how we do it. We learn from each other's experiences. We learn by sharing our stories. And hopefully, may natutunan kayo kahit sobrang konti lang. Yeah. So, thank you again. And see you next time. Bye.